Hello, I'm Tom Naughton, and this is the Fathead Report. Well, the people I refer to as the Save the Grains campaign reached a new low recently in their never-ending efforts to scare us away from low-carbohydrate diets. Over the years, they've tried telling us that giving up bread and pasta and cereal will make us fat, or give us heart disease, or give us cancer. Well, that obviously didn't work because now they're telling us that giving up carbohydrates will make your privates smell bad. No, not those privates. These privates. All of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, there were all these stories about something called keto crotch which is apparently like really bad breath, only lower. And in case you didn't get the concept, they came up with helpful graphics like these. And this one, people, I mean seriously? So what's going on here? Is this a real thing or are we seeing an AstroTurf campaign? Let's look at a piece of a TED Talk given by a former CBS reporter named Cheryl Atkinson explaining what an AstroTurf campaign is. AstroTurf is when political, corporate, or other special interests disguise themselves and publish blogs, start Facebook and Twitter accounts, publish ads, letters to the editor, or simply post comments online to try to fool you into thinking an independent or grassroots movement is speaking. So an AstroTurf campaign often begins with special interests paying people to put out a message on social media. And if you look at all these news articles about Keto Crotch, what's their source? It's people posting on social media. This rather disgusting article in the New York Post tells us that Keto Crotch is a hot topic on message boards and Twitter. And this site for vegans ran an article saying Keto Crotch is yet another reason to give up meat, surprise, and what was their source? Once again, it was social media. Probably people being paid to talk about Keto Crotch on social media. Here's a different speech by the same former CBS reporter on how to spot fake news. When so many in the media are reporting the same stories, promulgating the same narratives, relying on the same sources, even using the same phrases. When everybody's on the same page, it might be the result of an organized campaign. The same stories, using the same sources, even using the same phrases, like keto crotch. Not to mention using basically the same graphics. A guy on Twitter named John Zahorek listed all these media outlets that ran a story on keto crotch all in the same week. Does anybody think these reporters just happen to stumble on the same story at the same time? Or does this look more like a PR campaign designed to scare people away from low-carbohydrate diets? And who would design a campaign like that anyway? Now, the truth is, and I want to be clear about this, we don't know. But as John Zahorek pointed out on Twitter, the Barilla Pasta Company and Weight Watchers both use the same gigantic PR firm. Now, you can guess why a pasta company wouldn't want people cutting back on carbohydrates. And as for Weight Watchers, how do you think the popularity of the ketogenic diet is affecting them? You're seeing the number of subscribers start to slow down, and there are a lot of new other diet crazes out there, the keto craze, I think, where you know people are uh, you know having a low carb diet that doesn't really fit with the whole Oprah mantra of I eat as much bread as I want. Yes, of course, Weight Watchers is getting killed by keto because Weight Watchers is still pushing the same low fat, high carbohydrate diet that a whole lot of us tried over and over and found it simply doesn't work. So, maybe the big PR firm for Weight Watchers and Barilla Pasta was behind Keto Crotch. Or maybe not. I don't know. But I do know something here stinks. And it's not your privates.